you know female veterans are the fastest growing homeless population in the country? A local veteran is competing to raise money and awareness in a Ms. Veteran America competition in October. News 13's Alex Thorson tells us how the veteran and local educator is representing our area in a big way. Meet Stacy Van Dyke. And my heart tells me to give back and I want to give back. She's a 20 year Air Force veteran who's lived quite the life. While in Air Force anesthesia school, she lost her home in Hurricane Katrina. Lucky for me, I was still active duty and the military took care of me. But had I not been in that position, I could have very well been homeless as well. Now she's a program administrator for Florida State University's Master Nurse Anesthesia Program in Panama City. She says there's a homeless veteran population that's been forgotten. We're often known as the invisible the invisible ones in the military, the invisible veterans. Women. Now she's giving back to the 55,000 female homeless veterans in America. Out of those, Florida houses the third largest population in the country. It's a very real possibility that there are homeless female veterans right here in our county. Van Dyke is raising money by putting on a little makeup and a lot of pride. I'm a finalist in the Miss Veteran America competition. She's already made it through the semifinals in Virginia and in October heading to Hollywood, California as one of the 25 finalists. I would love to have the community kind of rally around this because I'm really the only person in this area that's representing. Now you can help too by sponsoring her. All of the funds raised benefit Final Salute, a nonprofit that provides housing for homeless female veterans and their children. In Panama City, Alex Thorson. News 13. And we wish her the very best. Ms. Van Dyke is still looking for sponsors. Go to mypanhandle.com to find out how you can donate to the cause.